32. Once made to order, now made to go. Thanks, Bob. More commonly used to help feed the famished, it's now used to quench the thirst of a four-wheeled friend. An innovative concept, nearly lost forever. News on the day. The death of Diesel. German inventor Rudolf Diesel has mysteriously vanished. A man who once made machines run on homegrown vegetable oil. Farmers wonder, will they ever be able to grow their own fuel? Will petroleum gasoline be the fuel of the future? Only time will tell. News on the day. Though the man behind the original biodiesel engine never powered the country by the bushel. Fill her up. As Richard Mendez will attest, the history of fuel has come full circle. I think I would continue to drive that truck until the fuel price has got to be $5 a gallon. But it's not costing him one red cent. Liquid gold. Rudolph Diesel would have never imagined a method like this one. And it's filtering right now. Yet free fuel is exactly what he dreamed. And it's good to go into my tank. And if you don't believe it, well, Mendez knew you wouldn't. Oh, they think I'm telling a big old Texas tall tale. Okay, so follow him. Buddy, he's got a bunch of restaurants. As he fuels up his gallon gulping excursion. Let's go for a ride. Tricked out with an $1,800 system that has paid for itself many times over. Our destination, not a service station, but a taqueria, where Mendez's oil well isn't found in a field, but in a fry pit. Waste vegetable oil is what drives his diesel engine. Restaurants give it away by the barrel. And with the right tools, Bud Barber Go ahead. can turn back the clock. Put a switch valve. Okay. Retrofitting today's diesels to run on a propellant from the past. There's a heating system. The veg oil is heated the, the, the to keep from clogging and filtered to remove any water. Running on diesel still, so we're going to make the switch. Other than that, it burns just fast. like diesel fuel. And there we go, there's no difference. Only greener. Lower carbon monoxide emission lower particulate matter, lower total hydrocarbon output. And of course, cheaper too. Every time I burn a tank of vegetable oil, I put $125 back into my pocket. That's what convinced Richard Mendez. As for any remaining doubting Thomases in the audience, Mendez advises them to follow their nose. Once they smell the tailpipe, that's usually what uh, convinces them that it's burning on waste vegetable oil. Because it smells like chicken fried steak.